Hello, welcome to another Path of Exile video. Uh, so, yesterday we started the new league here, <clears throat> and we played Act 1. And we got all this other stuff set up, like our uh, loot filter and everything. So, so we did look into a few things, like, uh, we're wondering why this item here dropped with like a 22% quality. <laughs> and apparently, with the update, they made it so stuff could drop up to like uh thirty percent quality actually. So that's insane. You can actually find something that's like up to like uh thirty percent quality or something that's like uh higher than twenty percent. As well as uh these things, the armor scraps and the blacksmith weightstone. Apparently they they don't care if it's uh rare. They they don't care about the uh, rarity anymore, right? So if we were to take like this uh, rare armor piece here, we can actually use this, and I, th I think it would actually make like a uh, 20% quality. We, we haven't actually tested it yet, uh, but that makes it like, actually like uh, go through, like uh, find uh, rares or something. So you find like a really good rare, uh, then you choose a blacksmith weightstone, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's like a, a, a white item. That's what we were doing this whole time. We're just collecting all these white base items just because it takes so many of these things to get a 20% quality if it's a rare. You need like 20 of them, right? But for a white item, you just need four of them. <clears throat> but if they like uh, changed it, right clicks the item to apply an armor to it, has greater effect on lower item levels, non unique armors. The maximum quantity is 20%. So it doesn't care about the rarity anymore. That's going to be good for crafting and everything. So what we're going to do is we just got to Act 2. We're probably thinking of just like uh, beating Act 2 here. Uh, might as well just go through and complete this act. Go through and collect all the side quests here. And uh, maybe, maybe we should go check this out, right? Like the lead mechanic over here. Because I think that our guys were mining all night, maybe. Yeah, we have to go here and figure out how to send a uh, shipment and everything. We got a whole bunch more gold here now. So we go here. Oh, we can even upgrade this, right? We have, like, uh, all these ores now. So how, how much uh, do we have here? Oh, probably, probably show here. So let's uh, add a bunch of gold to the treasury. Oh, workers. Nobody's working. We have, like, 154 of these, then 48 of these things. They have to figure, figure all this out. I think Crimson or all work uh, completed. So, so are these guys completed? Or are they still mining? I don't even know. Show idle only. I, I think they were idle or something. So what do we even do here? Local. Oh yeah, we have, we have to send a uh, ship it over here. Ship it. Select port. Yeah, it's like this one. Oh, they have to select one sad, and I think that we had to sell like at least a hundred or something. So, you have to sell ship it, and if you said like a hundred ores, but that do oh, ship it value a hundred. Okay, so you said 25 of these things to this port. So, maybe you get some wheat or something. Set sail. Ribbon fell 42 minutes, 18 an hour. Okay. So now, now he's going over here doing something. I completed the quest. Collect the rewards of a shipment in King March. So I imagine we have to wait till they get back or something. Can a ship to a different place? Uh oh, current uh, can ship so we can improve it. Upgrade rank two. Scratch up from new places. So, so, much, uh, so much stuff here to do. And then we can ship to a new place here. We get wheat there, we get crimson that right here. Okay, we'll do one of ones. Crew two out of two. Oh, maybe we actually need two crews to, to set that over there. Interesting. Then if we go over here, we have like some uh, miners mining, or they still mining or something. Yeah, badge workers. Crimson. Maybe there's some mining, so idle only. Oh, we, we don't even know what we're doing here, right? This is still, oh, still a bit confusing. So we need to get some wheat to upgrade this thing. So I, I guess we need to uh, trade to get some wheat. 
And then, then we can upgrade this. Okay. So if you go try to hire some more people. Oh, so all it's open is that thing, right? We can't sit here and farm or anything. Oh. Yeah, I guess not. So let's just go here and see, see what's over here. Nobody has anything to see here, right? Oh, we can upgrade this thing. We can establish a farming, smelting, and roofsmithing. Re recruits can up a job specialty too. This improves. Oh, new recruits? So it doesn't even cost that much to upgrade it. Oh, and then we need the wheat. I'm certain we'll start attracting new talent. Okay, so now we go farming. List of picks. So let's hire this person here. And then just uh, re refresh the list. Right away. Is there any farmers or anything? I guess let's just hire, hire these people here. We, we seem to have a decent number of gold here. There's no farmer. Oh, here we go. Farming, rank one. Let's hire a farmer here. So I wonder, wonder if we should be uh, hiring all these people. Oh, there's a rank two fighter up here. I'll give them the tour. I guess, uh, do, you, do you just disband them? Release the worker. Oh, now we're getting level two fighters, level two ships. So that they cost more power to ride. Okay, so I guess that's enough people here. So we got a couple of new things open up then. So what we're gonna do is go over here. Go we'll talk to this person. So we'll check this. Oh, the unlock rank one established farming. We need four to five gold to do it. So then we need two 25 gold upgraded again. So now, how do we set our workers and everything? All oh, right, out here, farming plot. Currently farming. We we need wheat, right? Produce per hour. Oh, speak to Jonathan. Badge workers. Oh, here here's the uh, farmer farm people, right? Farming wheat. Okay. So we have like three people working on that thing or something. And then this could make like a corn, maybe. Oh, we got like one, one farm here. So we can inside this person. Oh, farming corn. But he's a miner. Okay. Alright, we're back. So, should, should we just put some more workers on here? Because all miners and sailors and everything. Farming plot one. I, I guess we'll just leave it with one worker. We don't know how to bit max or anything. Yeah, we got like the miners and everything. And over here, what do we what do we just gotta lock over here? Hail! Hail! I know you can't see it now. But we oh the spit thing. Spit thing appropriate. So we just have everything to do it. Then we establish a spit oh, base. They have Sir, Sir Smith and Mars here. Root spithing. Establish root spithing. Seventy gold. Wonders. Okay. Rich Smith improve it. Since we need we need to figure out how to do all this stuff here. There's a rude Smith table. Oh, it's like in chatting or something. What what level does it require? Does it not require any level? Sud rude. We we need to get sud rude. Does it show a level or requirement on anything here? Interesting. So they have to figure out how to get those things. The, the uh, smelting information probably have to be, perhaps since the workers here. So we can set a binder here, right? Okay. Crimson bar. So imagine that we we, we need the ores to actually do it. Okay. Actually, if, if we just said these, these people keep doing this, they're gonna drain all of our money and everything. Do these people? Cost money for just idling. We we don't even know. So let's make some orange bars too. So we got two different bars. Twelve. Oh, let's go over here. There's another quest marker up here. Oh, it's inside the belt then. Oh, you can, there's another door right here. We can now set up farming capabilities. Awesome. They get eighty gold for doing it. 
how to prove it. So you have to figure out how to get wheat up here. Let's go check this thing. Oh, he had another two workers here. Oh, but we used all of our biters. We used all of our biters up there. Or if we get another two biters up here. Hail! It's a cornucopia of talent. Yeah, our tre treasury, treasury's run pretty low. I'll give them the tour. Except other two biters, though. And then we have to we have, we have to go get a whole bunch of gold here. Oh, we don't we don't have any. I, I thought we had eighty gold. Oh, took it took it from our inventory, baby. So the, the, these guys are maybe growing wheat. Smelt a bar of ore. Look like the rewards of a shipment. Crimson, crimson, orange, eight. How are we going to find workers here? So they have to go like that then. So they have a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of workers here. Uh, just for, uh, just for going to go bake. Uh, bankrupt the bench here, I feel like. I guess what we have to do is go uh, go get some more gold. I wonder, wonder if he can send these people uh, on a trip up over here. What do you need? Shipping. Can we only, can we only do one, one trip at a time? We, we do. We do have more people. Hail. Plus two to maximum number of shipping crew. So guess what we can do here then. All right. So we figured, figured out a bunch of stuff here. We got all this done. So let's go to Act Two. Just complete Act Two then. Ah, uh, then we have to get gold. We have to keep filling the coffer. And just uh, give those people money, I guess. So what we're gonna do is prank over here to help buy a heart, cause it's easier. What well, I, I I know this is the the harder way, right? And we, we, we did turn the game volume again, because uh, I watched the last video. So as soon as we turn the game volume down, we, we, we can't hear anything anymore. So we, we have to remember how to play for last night. Uh, we need some of some idiots here. So if that's all good now, we just uh, cast this here. Then search for, search for the beast, watch out for those things. And level up effect here. Okay, now there's some gold right here. Now there was some more gold, I think. What we're gonna do is go through, just uh, clear this whole area. I mean, pretty good experience and everything. Uh, we should get a bunch of good loot. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be too difficult. There's just half my ring if you need it. There's a uh, shred. Everything seems to be done pretty quick. Okay, we're, we're back. So, um, we're, we're not 100% sure what this is. We just ran into something. Uh, then it's just spot all his enemies in here. Oh, it's just, just like a sticky, sticky hat on the map. And then we walked into here. And then what does it do? Does it give us anything else? So, so apparently there's like some uh, lay mechanic here. I, I guess they give us the three sock like the wool gloves. I guess I have to watch out for those things, right? The uh, lay mechanics, they, they can be dangerous. Oh, oh, we don't even have our like uh, vitality on. That's right. So, we, we did upgrade this a bit. We just got one with a new sock and I think that was it. I wonder if this would be better, right? Oh no, it probably won't be. I guess there's no way it'll be better. So what we're gonna do is just keep going through here. Maybe, maybe those better skill points. Uh, Cause I think we do need like uh, more damage here, right? So if we'll go here, and then maybe we'll get this one. We get increased uh, spell damage, plus increased uh, melee damage. Plus we get like the increased ledger and the radius, and then the strength and it and everything. We have to figure out where, where do we put our next points. Cause I know we we do we need to go up in this direction eventually to get this uh, life regen. Then we need to go get more damage. Uh, we need to get some more mana down here eventually. So I guess that'll work. That worked for now. Ah, uh, those skill trees do pretty good. Uh, and we we did go here to get this waypoint. 
except we just came here to kill the beast. I, I don't think that we found a single beast yet, because we know, we know the uh, rare, rare ones up there that we have to kill. Ah, the, the, there was like a uh, dark one over here somewhere. We're still working our way through Act 2 here. And we uh, did pick up a whole bunch of new items. Oh, here's the beast right here. So this is gonna be the first one we kill here. So we killed him, it's like he gave us a sword, that was it. So there's that one. That there was that the rare was it was it down here or something? Oh we can't even go over there. Yeah, it was over here there's like uh two of them. So we'll probably go try to take these guys. Let's check out what's around all this. The rest of Act 2 should be pretty easy, right? It's, it's just going through here, defeating these beasts here. Oh, they can't be, be difficult, but uh, you, you usually don't think that they are. Yeah, I, guess, I, I guess their spell doesn't really do too much damage, or, or melee does too much more damage for some reason. Then we have this uh, red one. He's gonna be a difficult one, right? I think it's not too difficult because we, we have the uh, Templar. Uh, Chainmail of Ass. Oh, I thought that was going to be a Chainmail Tunic or something. So it's like we're doing alright here. We wanted to make a character that was uh, tanky. It looks like we, we successfully made one that's actually, actually like that. Wait, where's the actual guy we're supposed to kill? Oh, he's right here. So we managed to take him out, then we start to search for what our beast here, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I might as well just take the Chainmail Mask for some reason. Then we defeated him, and then, yeah, I guess he didn't really give us anything. Uh, so we're still working right through Act 2 here. Oh, we, we actually just found a uh, helmet upgrade. A, a soldier helmet with like, uh, three link sockets. Oh yeah, it's pretty actually close to max defense here. So now we have this thing. Ah, uh, it's gonna be better than the one that we have on. So there we go. So we, so we just keep finding upgrades here. Got a vitality, purifying flame, everything here. So... I guess I have to reactivate our every time we, every time we switch up that. We got a lot more things here. Yeah, then here's just Leaping Cat, right? Leaping Cat has, has a seem to be difficult or anything. It, it's just always been like, uh, go here, k kill these things that are really easy, that's it. And then uh, may maybe they drop some extra loot, maybe they spawn some uh, rare monsters sometimes. Oh, besides that, doesn't really seem that difficult so far. Oh, they got 22 or I see that. So they do this, like, uh, I guess get or then these guys come here, then they, uh, bind. I think we got the upgrades. All, all we're using is just a, uh, white broad scepter here. It's just, uh, quart scepter. Yeah, that, that, would, that would just be a straight upgrade. So I guess we're going through, we're, like, uh, doing all this damage with, with, with just, like, uh, what, what had to, with just, uh, white weapons. We don't even need anything better than white weapons. Although, we maybe ID this, see if it has anything good on it. 50% increased spell damage. I don't know, I guess, I, I guess it's better than the white item. So there we go, we got some good upgrades. I think that we're coming here. I think we're just coming here to complete that quest to get that extra skill point here. How is that? We like that here. Yes, they're gonna be minded there. Uh, the quest objective should just be over here, right? We should almost be here. Yeah. We, we still have to make it back in time to, to find the last beast there for R2. So hopefully we're not too late for that. Oh, we don't even have our ever set up.
Okay, so we we play that quest. Er, that, that was pretty much our goal. Well, if we go to the left hand side, we, we just go there. This side closes in seven minutes. This side closes in like four minutes. So we'll just reopen it. Yeah, we still have to go here to for that one, one beast that that's it. If we go over here, we go to Act 1. Uh, and then we'll just go get a retroscope right here for now. Yeah, we get to see all the people that are still on Act 1. Or, or, or I guess people could ready to make it all characters or something. We don't have enough inventory space to collect, collect it. There we go. <clears throat> so now we go back to Act 2 here. There you spend our skill points. So where, where, where do we go? Do we just uh, work, work, work towards here to get some more damage or something? Then after we get some more damage, maybe get some life regen up here. I have seen. Okay. So I guess we'll just keep going through Act 2 here, then we'll be back in a little bit. Oh, our uh, treasures and our gold. All town operates have been uh, halted or turned out gold to your treasury. Okay. So we must just run out of gold at, 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 at back at the uh, base over there. So what we have to do, I guess, is just go refill the treasury with all the uh, new gold we have here. And we've completed Einhar's hut. Captain all the beasts he was looking for. Yeah, just these stupid uh, Driftwood Ball that we don't even need. Now we have that, we're e even by the uh, door up over here. Can we not uh, blink to the tree? So what we're gonna do is go back and then uh, refill the treasure. Because how much uh, gold did we have here? We had like two, 226. 226 gold here. They were just throwing things in the air. Uh, just, we don't really have time to organize it just because uh, the places despawn and everything. So, we're going to have to do... Yeah, we're going to have to go check that place again here pretty soon. We'll go back over here. And then we'll... I, I think we'll just click on this town map here and then just uh, add gold here for what we have. 226. Okay. And then, do we have some wheat? Oh, we have some wheat here. So now that we have some uh, wheat... We, we can actually go upgrade these things we want to. Something oh, we have these ores here, so we can upgrade. We can smelt uh, crits in, plus three max plus smithers here. Okay, so you upgrade that there. Let me get some gold, upgrade that. Oh, they got a uh, quest objective up here. Is that we can now build proper structures for smelting. Oh, they give you gold for it. There we can. Oh, we can upgrade this thing. Plus 20 maximum town population. Recruits have especially up to rank 3. We will cost for new recruits. Except the, uh, we have the wheat and everything. So you get uh, wheat and corn. Okay. So I guess all these people that we assign are actually just uh, working to get us all this stuff. Click the rewards of a shipment. So I wonder if the shipment's actually done up over here. Oh, good. Oh, 44 seconds. Local. Yes, I guess we should wait for like uh, 38 seconds. Or, <clears throat> or we go here and go get this uh, waypoint. So we go on Act 2, we have these waypoints here. We, we see to go get this waypoint. Uh, go get this waypoint before this place responds. Oh, and then he even tells you he's uh, returned from, uh, from the uh, place, right? It's not a return from the place. Yes. All we have to do is go get this uh, waypoint up here. Yeah, I guess we can do... I, I guess we get like, all these uh, ores and everything as well. So it's uh, go gold for going out here doing all this stuff.
precious early as hell. Okay. <laughs> I guess I, I think there's a decent number of damage. So, so we have to upgrade our gear, I think. I think eventually we'll, we'll be able to get better gear. But I know, I know that we are the hardest place here. I guess all we have to do is just avoid that thing. And there we go, so I think that we got it. Yeah, we got the miners here and everything. Successfully did that. That one was a bit more difficult for some reason. Oh, we got a reinforced tight shield. And a uh, two stone rig. So we're getting our resistance up and everything. Oh, yeah, we can put, uh, we can put that in the socket. I mean, in the uh, helmet. Well, I, I, I guess this is worse than this, right? Yes, the, the, this shield's worse than the one we have. That's, wor that's worse than the one we have. Never mind. All right, so let's go click this uh, ship it over here. Really check out what, came in from so what do we get, right? Shipping says to return. So what do we get? Rewards. Oh, we get uh, rare items or uh, ruins. We use for crafting by the looks of it, right? Oh, take all. Take all shipping rewards. What do you mean? Does it cost anything? So give you some rare items. Oh, you can just take everything you can choose to discard. Things you don't want, maybe. So that's worth it, I guess. We got we got a whole bunch of these uh, identified rare items. Okay. So let's uh, let, let, let's select the port here then. Zero, uh, 27 plus 70 percent. Zero to 30 plus 30 percent. Favorite resources. Oh, it's his favorite resources. So if he said them, I read. If he sets um, Crimson or I, I guess they give us better rewards here. This is Crimson or right? If you give uh, like uh, 30 of this. Say so like 30 of this, they said 0 out of 30 plus 90%. What are you supposed to do? Then we should say, uh, the, the, we give them the resources they're looking for, right? I'll give them the word. If you get 27 wheat. I thought that we upgraded this. Did we not upgrade it yet? Shipping rank 2. Plus 2 to maximum ship crew. One ship. Local. Zero. Zero percent chance of risk. Oh, so there's going to be risks in the future. Can we not send more than one? I, I guess we just said one at the moment. Okay, speak to you hit for a word up here. Should make way through all of this here too then. I'll handle things here. That's the town. There's so many things that locked. Let, let, let's just uh add to the treasury here at 14 hour 35. 60 an hour, treasury up to you in 6 hours. So if these like, uh, idling workers or, or probably, probably take a lot of our re resources or something. We have 5 out of 5 workers here. We, we need wheat to upgrade that. And we can't send, send these people, we, we can't send these people sail, sailing anymore. So if it comes here, what does it say? Wait 60 an hour. Wait 60 an hour. Idling. Oh, Farming cord. 83 an hour. Oh, okay, so it's, so it does, so, so it, so I guess I don't know how to do anything. Remove you. This costs five an hour. This guy costs like 23 an hour. Okay, so if they're not assigned or anything, then they, they don't actually take the gold or anything. Oh, because it has like 18 an hour to do this. Oh, but he's a farming. But he's a farmer, I guess. <clears throat> so we got two people farming wheat. 
Got two people for record. They're at 78. Okay. I guess I think there's, there's no more no more quest objectives or anything here. I think of all that or everything. We we got some new. I, I guess this would e, e, be like an upgrade here, eh? Compared to our thing, we get a new upgrade. So can you even get uh, upgrades by doing that? I guess that. I guess these things go here or something. And then these things go up here. And then I guess this would be an upgrade too, right? If we if we don't need the blue sockets for anything. Yeah, probably an upgrade. We just got upgrades just by uh, coming here. Clarity, summon holy relic. We probably need that. Frostblink, purifying flame. I guess we can remove the lighting damage from the zombie or something then. So I guess that's good. Damn useless virtue gem. Doesn't do anything. How goes the adventure? Yeah, because now we got some of these things. Now we can actually actually attach our items here. Let's go to Act 2. Then, then we should go through and just uh finish in Act 2 here. So that's pretty good. They give you some uh, rares that you might be able to use. We I'm pretty sure we did get some rare upgrades. So that's how you get the, uh, the rares and everything. Then, uh, Escaladius, these are like, uh, ruins? Ruins for crafting? This is the, uh, League item, I guess. Okay. Is there any any gems we can use? Added fire added support? Oh, we, get, we don't want to link with, uh, Clarity. Raise up, be summon Holy Relic. I guess that would work. Then maybe you just put a static strike here to, just to fill the spots up. Should we? Should, should we try to level these up? Like a uh, lightning strike, a venom gutter, just, just some different uh, rat, rat of gems here we have. There we go. Make sure to level those up and then work our skill tree. Should, should we get the uh, life regen or should, should we get the damage? I think we'll go here and get the life regen and then we'll go get the damage maybe. That would probably be the smart option here. Because I think here we get like a uh, regenerate 50 life per second. So that's going to be a huge boost to everything. So I don't know this side. We'll go over here and then we'll just uh, clear the right hand side then. This should be the easier side. And then how come there's a bunch of stairs here, right? We're over in this area. Uh, for some reason there's a pair of stairs here. There's a uh, never, never... Never ever a pair of stairs here. Devoted statue, what does this mean? The mother of two, what's the mother of three? Weapons eternal. What does that do? What happened? What did they even do? It, it doesn't even show a buff or anything. What was the point of these stairs? The mother of two, what's the mother of three? Weeps eternal. What's part of these stairs here? They don't do anything. <laughs> I thought we were gonna find something out here. Something happened when you go out here? I oh, don't know. So, so there's some stairs, is it? Let, let, let see here or something? Oh, there's nothing over here. I don't know what those stairs do. Actually, I don't even think these are actually the uh, stairs to the actual exit here. So maybe, maybe there's something with these uh, stairs that there's the, this thing here, right? Mother of two, what's the mother of three? Weeps a turtle. What does that even do? So maybe, maybe there's a third, third set of stairs you have to find or something. So I wonder what that's about, right? So we're, we're, we're gonna go see what, see what these uh, stairs do. Okay, so we found a third set of stairs here. So it's out these stairs. The mother of two, what's the mother of three? We have to turn all. So we hit these three things. What, what did that do? Is this even doing anything? Cast Firestorm. 
or Max Defense Scale Vest, I guess. Max Defense Wool Gloves. So what, what, what do those stairs do? Oh, what, 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 what is this guy? He, he forgot to die. Oh my god, he almost killed you in one hit. That was his hit. What happened? How did you do so much damage? We, we could have died there. I guess we have to be careful. He does a really, really strong attack. So I guess this is the guy you summon. So you get those three stairs, then you summon him. Ah, they just does so much damage. So I guess we have to take him out before he takes us out, right? Did we get him? Oh, so he, just, he dropped some uh, rare items? I am no beast of burden. Oh, no, it was worth, 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 worth it to get some rare items. But I guess that's what we did. So here's the crit, because we, we we did also find like a veil, veil side area out there. Uh, so we're probably going to go out to check out the veil side area. I thought that was insane, right? I imagine, I imagine, imagine people die at that point when, when you get to that guy or something if you, if you decide to summon him for some reason. For some reason, it's so much damage, I think that our gear is actually doing pretty good. But uh, I, I guess we're still using this thing. I guess our gear is not really that good yet. <clears throat> but uh, that was insane. How do you do so much damage there? So what I'm gonna do is go back here. Ah, uh, there was a bit. Oh, there's also these uh, rare items here. Their inventory is pretty much full. But there was also like a uh, veil side area. So I wonder if that's like a new thing that they added that uh, that a uh, person you just buy the three things. And they summon him. And then he killed him, then he pretty much just kills you off most, right? That was insane. Check out this here that we definitely had to figure out again. And some like uh, gear upgrades, get some more defense and everything. I wonder if you can get a really good uh, corrupted item here. If we get like really low, a really low chest piece, like 50% increased damage or something. Uh, that would be really good. Not gonna, not gonna have enough room to carry all this stuff here. So what we're gonna do is uh, make a... Are we gonna be able to make it right to the end? Yeah, we're not gonna have enough inventory to just pick up all this uh, stuff that we want. Uh, yeah, so we go out and get this thing. So what we're gonna do is uh, uh, go back home here, I guess. Yeah, we'll come back and then we'll, we'll see what we actually get from that place. Okay, we're back. So we're, we're, we're just at the end here, right? Here, here's the uh, boss. So, so it's good that we didn't get that annoying one that has that proximity shield so you can't damage him if you're too far away from him. So that was, that was a good thing. So what do we get? The Veil vale Lightning Jab. The Veil vale Arctic. Fif oh, we did. We got 50% increased damage on this chest piece. That's what we were talking about. So we actually got it. 50% to all resistances on a bell. It requires level one. This is where you get all the good items, right? Got level twelve, grad seven enemy per hit. We we'll take that too. So I was just saying, so it's definitely worth coming in here that we got like uh, so many, so many good items here. I think we're just gonna go check the, this place here quick. There's like some, some more uh, magic mods in this. They might drop something in. Oh yeah, another rare item. Oh, 30% uh, topaz egg. And then there's another magic pack over here. Yeah. Where, 
Alright, so we're here at the uh, crypt, so we just finished the third trial over here. As well, as we found like uh, two, two of these essence things over here, right? We found like uh, this one over here. We found this uh, shrine. So we go over here, get this. We get another essence just right here. If you go right next door, it's actually another one right here, too. So I think that happened in the uh, other area, too, right? Oh, and then our uh, shipment has returned. Oh, so that means that we're going to be able to get some more uh, loot from the ship. It. So that's going to be good. Uh, uh, that's going to be some, like, uh, new rare items, I think. And then some new, new crafting materials. That's going to be good. Alright, so we're done everything in the uh, crypt here. Then we got like uh, a couple scale points, or at least we got one. So we got this one, regenerate every four seconds, regenerate 50% of your life over one second. So I think that would come up pretty handy. As well as this one here, right? What, what's, our, what's our life regen? That's like 17, and then our aura gives us another 19. <laughs> but if we go here, we get like a uh, regenerate 50 life per second. That's gonna help out all those tough fights and everything, like the one that we just did against that enemy. Now we got like uh, these two life regen abilities. So that's gonna help uh, help finish the rest of the act a lot easier. Then we got another skill point here pretty soon. So all you have to do is just go defeat the spider, defeat the bandit over here, go defeat the bandit here, go through the caverns. And go through the temple, and then defeat the boss, and then, then we're all done act two already. Oh, our ship it got back, that's right. So I guess let's go check our ship it. We will probably get some more uh, items from there. Then we have to go go put like, all of our uh, gold in the treasury and everything. Like another 836 gold? Sarks elements have at least 1,000 gold in the treasury. Oh, sweet, we can play another quest here by doing that. So if we go here, shipping, rewards, oh, they got all these things. Oh, we get a unique item, so it gives you unique items too. So we get a unique scepter, fire damage, fire damage. It's all, all, all for spells and everything with heart level 10. Oh, every single one of these is three socket licked. Every single one of these is three socket licked. So that's gonna be good. You don't even need to go oh, go go far for rare items or anything. He's looking for er, fifty crimson ore or to get the new one. Twenty-seven wheat, crimson ore. Do we have twenty-seven wheat? Oh, we do have twenty-seven wheat. Let's go send 27 wheat to these people and see what they do. And then we'll send some iron to these people later. Oh, we, we, oh, we need iron. Crimson iron. Is that the Crimson iron bar, baby? We're not 100% sure. So we sent the wheat over to these people and they want like 27 wheat? We, we could, uh... Did this the uh, rake, rake do anything? Shipwreck wood, shipwreck wood. Shipwreck two. Come on, let's get that loaded. So I've got a rake two ship with that duty thing. Whatever the case, let's set them sail. They go deliver the wheat, then uh, maybe we'll get some more items here. So it's insane, we got a unique item, and then we got all these uh, three, three song link things. So it's probably better than our boots if it has movement speed. Oh, it doesn't have movement speed. But it has all the resist and everything. Oh, I think we can actually put movement speed. Oh no, we, we actually need to beat the act to get movement speed. So what we should do here then, right? Like, uh, maybe, maybe his helmet's better? 161 armor. Yeah, his helmet's a lot better. So let's out that. We don't exactly need this. Ray zombie. Seven holy relic. Oh, we don't have enough spots here. Plus life. So maybe, maybe we'll switch this out. Yeah, 
And we need, we need to figure out a place to put this thing. Well, I guess if we, if, if we lose the 50% movement speed, we gain a whole bunch more armor. That's, that's gonna help us uh, survive a lot better, right? We, we, we took so much damage for that thing. We have 82% physical damage reduction. Dude. That's a lot of physical damage reduction. They put our summon holy relic here. Yeah, I guess that's all we need. We, we just need that for that, all right? Ray zombie added fire damage. And I guess that's it. You're moving so slow. You're moving so slow, but we have 82% uh, damage reduction. 82% damage reduction. At least we did maybe have less what, what, what's we uh, switch out the armor or something, but we got a unique enemy here. They have like all this stuff here. So what, what do we what do we do? Do we have like extra gems thrown here? Add extra call support. Uh uh it's just gonna make these things cost more uh bad and everything. Stacks rank. Just, I, I guess we can just uh throw some things in here that we don't have bless the toe support. Holy Flame Totem. Oh, we already have Holy Flame Totem. Yeah, I guess that works. Oh, then we gotta get another green gem spot. Might as well just fill another green gem spot here. Okay. And we sent out a shipment and everything. We got our workers working. We got our R's on and everything. Yeah, they're moving 50% slower. So it's, oh, that's all right, I guess. I guess our character's a lot stronger. Like, what, what, what's our resistances? Oh, our max resistances. I don't think our max resistances before. I just think it's like 20% and two of them. That, that's really good for resistances and everything. Got this rig, this rig, this amulet. We did get our amulet here. So we probably do. Now, now that we got this, now we got a new shipment coming. We're gonna probably get some more items from that. Uh, we'll go here, defeat this bad, defeat the spider, go here, defeat this bad, and then uh, continue with our act two. And okay, so this leaves interesting. There's so much stuff to do on this side, but it looks a bit. Oh, there's actually bees here. We we we, we just uh, went here to clean this place, right? For you to defeat the uh, spider. Ah. We don't we don't even have our holy relics up in. Hey, we we see a big group of beasts out here. Come down here's like three beasts at the same time. Why is there three beasts all right beside each other? That means I heard is gonna come help us here, right? We just have to make sure not to get killed. Okay, so I think we did it. We get a uh, shield upgrade, baby. I bet you the shield is gonna be a lot better than what we have on here. Yeah, cause we just have this one. This one has all the socks we need. Add us the other one. Plus 27 life. 45% increased block chance. Plus life for jet. That's insane. 36% chance of block plus 100 armor. So there we go. Now, now we got a uh, re really good uh, shield upgrade. Holy Flame Totem. Frost Blick. There we go. So our character's doing so good now we even have to, like, uh, evasion. Yeah, 82% damage reduction, 26% evasion. Our damage reduction go higher if we, uh, switch just like without the chest piece, but that's alright. Our character's so strong. So where do you go now? We got, like, all these things. I guess you go here and get some more elemental damage, right? Because we're, we're actually thinking of getting all these things here to get a whole bunch of damage at this point. Okay, so let's go defeat that spider. Oh, they defeat these uh, beasts here. So it's not one more beast lying around here somewhere. Okay, so it looks like we can actually just like uh, take this guy by looks of it, right? Yeah, like uh, so, so much doubt. Actually, we got all that uh, uh, re regen and everything. I uh, managed to take him out. Oh, I don't know if you have any inventory space. So, so our character is so strong here right now. Our character is ridiculously overpowered. Got like uh, all, all this junk that we're picking up, and, and I know, I know that we're gonna have to go through like uh, organize all the stuff here. 
But, but I think it's mostly just gonna be like uh, selling all the magic items, then all the rare items probably, probably just sell those too. Well, I guess you look at the stats, see, see if the rare items are worth uh, keeping or anything. Uh, yeah, I prefer actually just about uh, just about uh, the act here now. Okay, so we're just actually at the the uh, boss here, right? The cavern is level 22. So, we have our skill treatment over here to get this 50% uh, damage, 50% chance to free shock and ignite. They're thinking of coming down here, and then uh, maybe coming here to get this extra life, because it's like 60% extra life here. Maybe 6% if we get this one. It's also like increased the uh, armor plus energy shield over here, plus take 30% reduced uh, extra damage from critical strikes. Oh, we, we actually need to go up here and get uh, th th this thing by the end of Act 3. It's, uh, we can't forget about that. So we do have to go up here eventually. And make sure that uh, Crept of Blood cannot be inflicted on us. So I guess that's something we have to get as well. But uh, here's Crafter SP. Spell damage rank 1. And then uh, here's the boss up here. So I have to use, just like uh, defeat him. And then we get the movement speed Crafter SP. That's gonna help out quite a bit. <clears throat> so we can like, they put movie speed on the boots. Oh no, we can't. There's actually no room on it. We actually can't put movie speed on the boots. Uh, that's alright. So I think it's just to uh, manage to defeat this guy, but we have like so much damage reduction. I, I think that we should be pretty good. So all we need to do is just work at our health a little bit. And then uh, maybe, maybe get some actual Templar items, so he gets uh, extra energy shield here. Actually, it's not taking too long, right? It's like half health already. Yeah, the rocks didn't hit us. Or, or, if, they, or if they did, we're like, uh, re regenerating it, I guess. Hey, he didn't go down yet. Oh, we got him before he went down. Perfect. Should able to kill him. And, and you see, it's like this uh, gold T takes like the drop table. It's like uh, you usually you drop like six items, right? But he just dropped like three items, then a little bit of gold. That was it. I, w I wonder if they're testing with everything, like how uh, drop it less things. We get the movement speed. Movement speed. Yeah, they auto activate these things. And then. Also, the like uh, quest, the uh, quest of the baddest and everything, it lo 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 looks like they changed the rewards for them. Uh, looks like if you go complete it, we only got one skill point. One skill point instead of two skill points. Then there, as well as the rewards were a lot worse, it was like 8% uh, movement speed, that's it. The other one was like... Uh, Plus 30 life or something? Why did why did they change the act to uh, quest reward so much? That doesn't even make sense to get them. We go through complete this. And then we're going to act three, so we're actually just about there. We just have to finish this last area here. You see, we drop a lot of gold instead of items. We did notice that. Oh, so we're gonna be seeing less items. Less items, more gold by the looks of it. So go through here to feed uh, this boss here. I am no beast of burden. Beast of burden. Beast of burden. Stupid bird. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is. It, oh, there is a way to pick it up. We, we, we just have to put it over here. That's right. Talk to you. Is that big red act three here? Yeah, it's over literally just right here, right? I must have time to gather my will. 
So what we do is just let uh, X character selection, that'll just save us from walking all the way over there. Uh, we're actually in Act 3. So what is, should, should we just take uh, uh, end the video here? So we, we, we do have all this like uh, gar garbage that we always pick up here for some reason. We still do have a whole bunch of it. Yeah, we have to go go through other uh, settlers, but I'm, I I don't think it's gonna take like an entire day like it did like uh, last league, because I know that most of the stuff's not even worth keeping. Last time we were just going through like, everything, and try try to keep most of it, but this time I think most of it most of it's just gonna be selling everything, all these uh, magic items, right? These uh, rare items. I don't even need any of these things, but we do like to just keep all these uh, base items for some reason. Besides that. Do they give you a lot less of these things to you? Like, uh, uh, currency? Yeah, a lot of everything's, uh, dropping a whole lot less. If we go through, we're in Act 3 already. Okay.